Okay. I'd like to call to order the Common Council meeting for February 14th, 2023 at 6.05 p.m. Attendance roll call. Alder Persons Wolf. Here. Hamill. Here. Terrence. Here. Capusta. Here. Schrader. Here. Alder Person Kabaki is absent. <coughs> Alder Person Madden. Here. We have a quorum present. Thank you. Statement of public notice. This meeting was noticed in accordance with the public meeting law. Thank you. Public comment. If anyone would like, any taxpayers would like to be heard or city residents on any issue on the agenda tonight, please step forward. State your name and address. Don't rush up. Only once. Twice. All right. Communications to the mayor's office. We are going to recognize... Eddie Schaefer for his nearly, well, 30, over 34 years of service to the community. Did you come up? So when special people retire and after long years of service, we like to recognize them. And between his years um, in public works, which was almost 34 years, and his many years in both fire departments, which the span of both services as a community was almost 50 years, um, I'm going to do a proclamation and I'll read it to you. Um, by the mayor of the city of Muskego, a proclamation declaring Wednesday, February 15th, 2023, Edwin Eddie Schaefer Day, whereas Edwin Schaefer was hired as a public, or, I'm sorry, as a highway patrolman for the city of Muskego Department of Public Works on January 3rd, 1989, and whereas Edwin Schaefer had previously joined the Muskego Volunteer Fire Company in 1974, where he served as a firefighter, lieutenant, captain, assistant chief, and chief, and then joined the Test Corners Volunteer Fire Department when the two departments merged, serving as a firefighter and lieutenant. And whereas Edwin Schaefer's diverse background in farming and being a member of the Muskego Volunteer Fire Company and Test Corners Volunteer Fire Company helped play a critical help play a crucial role in the Public Works Department's success, making him the Public Works Department, quote, Swiss Army knife. <laughs> and whereas Edwin Schaefer was no, most known for his operation skills in the Public Works Department's, how did you pronounce it, excavator? La Bear Exca Excavator, and whereas Edwin Schaefer, over the last 34 years, he has buried thousands of feet of pipe, dug miles of ditches, and helped develop and train numerous employees. And whereas Edwin Schaefer had the task of plowing the most difficult and challenging route in the city of Muskego while making it look easy, and whereas Edwin Schaefer also had has volunteered his time for fire and rescue training and calls alongside many of his neighbors who are considered a second family, and whereas Edwin Schaefer being public works, being a public works employee in the city of Muskego has afforded him the opportunity to serve the community 24 seven by making himself available for fire and rescue calls during the day when many members were not available. And whereas Edwin Schaefer also has responded to calls that have taken, taken him away during family dinners and in the middle of the night. And whereas Edwin Schaefer was a complete team player and dedicated to excellence while protecting the community from snowstorms, flooding, tornadoes, accidents, and fire. And whereas the citizens of the city of Muskego wish to recognize the diligence and commitment that Edwin Schaefer has demonstrated in protecting and serving our community for nearly 50 years. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Richard R. Petfalski, Jr., Mayor of the City of Muskego, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, February 15th, 2023, to be Edwin Schaefer Day. I congratulate and thank Edwin Schaefer for his nearly 50 years of combined service to the City of Muskego. 
uh, dated this 14th day of February 2023, signed and affixed with the city seal. Thank you, sir. Quite a few of you guys on council here for a number of years while I was fire chief and that and on the fire department and I had some excellent bosses to work for at the city here and at the public works. It's been a, an amazing career that I've learned a lot from and actually I, at my age yet even running the, the Libera to the last week or so I even tried a few different things with it and learned to can do even more of that than I thought it could, you know. So don't ever stop thinking that you can't learn something when you get older. There's always an opportunity to to make things happen. And uh, I appreciate this plaque. It means an awful lot to me. This has been an amazing group of people to work with. The guys at the shop were always pleasant, amazing. We always work together good. We always believe that we're going to do it the way we want it done in our front yard. Nothing half-assed that uh, just didn't work that way, you know. I always thought if we're going to do something, we got to do it right. Wayne would always say, if you do your job right, you don't need a foreman looking over the top of you. And very seldom did we have to have a foreman looking over the top of us. We left with the machine in the morning and did our job and came in at the end of the day with it done and earned a lot of compliments through the years for everything we did. So thank everybody again for this amazing plaque and I appreciate everything and having the opportunity to work here. So your family and uh, co-workers and everything helped with giving me all the dates and information there. And, and to be honest, I, I could have done three pages of the whereases and stuff like that. And um, I, on behalf of the community, I mean, this, this, our public works department has a great reputation out there with, within the community. And, you know, they're always talking highly of your whole department. And you had a big part of that. And your, your whole attitude of, you know, treat it like it's your front yard is, is true. And I think the citizens really appreciate your dedication um, both from the public works and, you know, it, the unsung heroes of the volunteer fire departments, um, you know, not only the money you've saved our community, but the lives and the uh, sacrifices to your own families that you do to help others uh, does not go unnoticed. Thank you, sir. So moving on to communications, um, the other update I wanted to give you was on the HR director hiring process and where we're at we we put the um uh we we noticed and put the um application out there a couple weeks ago we received about a little over 25 applications um john went through picked out ones um him and i kind of went through ones that looked like they were qualified and within our price range um, he did a few phone interviews to kind of narrow down the list and we started interviews today um, they interviewed um, two individuals today um, they're interviewing another one tomorrow um, that we have four department heads which are conducting the initial uh, rounds of interviews um, in teams of two. So they're each, they're, they're each doing the interviewing the same people but just in groups of two instead of having four there at once. Um, we'll meet together as a team um, and see what they think of if any of them are um, kind of fit into the finals and then I'll interview them and then make a recommendation from there. Any questions on that process? I'm pleased with, um, there, there's a couple of individuals that um, actually have some nice experience that I think will fit well with us, so. Good. Consent agenda. I can read it. Uh, utility, or should be utility vouchers, tax. 
Oh, no, I got to read what it is and then I'll get the motion. <laughs> so consent agenda. Uh, utility vouchers, tax vouchers, general fund vouchers, wire transfers um, for payroll invoices. Uh, resolution 012-2023, approval of the acceptance of uh, proposals for portable toilet facility services. Resolution 013-2023, approval of Jilly's LLC Developers Agreement. Resolution 014-2023, approval of a two-lot certified survey map for Steven uh, Sobieski. And resolution... 015-2023 approval of school district uh, building project permit fees. Move to approve and gross. Second. Discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. That passes. There is no new business. Uh, in front of you is a review of committee reports, the finance committee meeting uh, for January 10th, uh, 2023, and the plan commission minutes from December 6th, 2022. Are in front of you. Uh, there are no license approvals. There are no city officials reports. Um, any communications and miscellaneous business? Any updates from any of the um, liaisons? Seeing none, any requests for future agenda items? We still have Alderman Terrence. We will, at the next call, you had a request that it will be on there. I trust you. Thanks. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> All right. Motion to adjourn would be in order. Motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We're adjourned at 615. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.